Hello everyone, welcome to lab number one for the CKA exam. This has to do with the stateful set. So let's look at the requirements. We have a YAML file named a.yaml. We're supposed, it's supposed to be for a stateful set. We will apply this file and we're supposed to figure out what's happening with the STS. Is it working, not working? How many pods are running? How many are supposed to be running? And if there's a problem, what is the root cause? Notice they're not asking us to actually fix the problem, just find what the problem is. So let's alias kubectl to k. Now k apply minus b. I mean, not minus b, minus f a b dot yaml. Actually, that there's a this. The requirement file is wrong. It's supposed to be B. So now the stateful set is created. Its name is MySQL. Let's, by the way, let's find out what is the short form for an, an, a stateful set. We will run K API resources and we will see all the possible resources we have available. If we grab for stateful or state, you will see the short form for a stateful set is STS. So now we can do k get STS. What is happening? You see it says zero over two. That means two pods are supposed to be running, only zero are running. Why? So let's do k. Remember the easiest way to troubleshoot deployments and stateful sets are to look at the pods themselves and see why the pods are not coming up. So k get pods. You see there's this pod and it's, it's crashing, it's crashing. Now, if we do K logs, my SQL dash zero, you see the events that are logs from that pod. What is it saying? It's saying everything's okay up until here, Every, here up until here. fresh error. Database is uninitialized and password option is not specified you need to specify one of the following as an environment variable. So if you look at the file itself, you will see all it's doing is, is, is creating two pods, replica sets two, template. This is really, this really should be called pod template, but it is template. Anyway, from the image MySQL. So MySQL is trying to create two pods and it's supposed to mount this data directory on the pod. I think it goes beyond that. It, it I think works. It it does mount that because I don't see a problem with that. In fact, we can probably let's see k get k get pvc. Yeah, those work because you see data at MySQL zero and one. They're they are actually bound. That means it got bound to the pod. So you got beyond that, but then it it. It didn't actually start the database because it is, is ask, it is saying without a password, either give me a password as an environment variable or set one of these things, all right? Set a random password or allow empty password and so on and so forth. Without one of the three, the MySQL database will not come up. So that is the reason why this MySQL stateful set is not coming up. All right, so in the next uh, lab or the one after that, we will fix this problem so that the stateful set is actually up all the way. I hope you found this file. By the way, for, for you to do the temp CK exam, you really should look at all my labs for the CKAD exams. I have maybe 66 of them or something like that because CK exam is for all practical purposes, is a superset of the CKD exam. Anything that's in the CKD exam is probably fair game for the CKA exam. Not only that, it helps you prepare for the, some of the stuff that is not that are, that are a little bit harder than the CKD exam. Not all questions are hard, harder than CKD exam. Some of them are easier, some of them same, same difficulty level. Anyway, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please like and subscribe. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in lab two of CKA exam.